to your girlfriend quest. I'm your host, Alexis Sarah, and I am joined as always by the oh gosh, by the fantastic, <laughs> wonderful, lovely Tracy Campbell. Woo! Yeah, hey. I'm in front of applause. Hello, I'm here. And hey. also, we have another person with us. Exactly, our very special guest. Returning for the first time in a while, Louise Ashley. Hey, I'm right here. <coughs> yes. Hey, there are Happy special to be back forms again. surrounding huh? me. So ghost. <laughs> um, so you're joining me with uh, my ghost girlfriend and my ghost girlfriend's girlfriend, who's also a ghost. <laughs> um. So it's fantastic. We have a very uh, diverse stream. People don't usually talk about ghost rights, but on this stream, yeah. it's going to be mostly about ghost rights. A little bit you of know. gay robots fucking in space. <laughs> Long distance partners. Is there a difference, really? Hang on. I go, I'll go make a Google Doc for a visual novel idea. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead if you want. Um... If you haven't watched the other parts, uh, we do have the, uh, we did stream Heaven Will Be Mine a couple times, and it's on the playlist on our YouTube channel. If you search Girlfriend Quest, you'll see us. It has the same avatar picture as this. Um, or you could, I don't know. Uh, there's not another way to do it. You could just go and <laughs> blind here. Um, we're on day seven. It's going to be pretty neat. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be good. Right, so it's been a while, and I'm playing Lunaterra, who's like the the main character of this row. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And everyone has returned to the moon, where <clears throat> everyone's going to have their final showdown over the lunar gravity well. Oh, nice! So we're doing the final chapter here, or something. Yep. Last two. Uh, missions. Yep. Ooh. That's the stream then. We're going to try to finish this one last bit. And hello, Erica. Yeah, I was right. Hey, Erica. Hey. <laughs> Alexis couldn't see the comment section clearly, but she still guessed it. Yes, <laughs> I can sense Erica. my best friend. <laughs> so, ooh. <clears throat> All right. Who wants to be A? Who wants to be B? Uh, I guess okay. I'll be A. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be B because after all, you're going to be playing the main character. Yeah, fair enough. So we got some expositionary <laughs> mail here. Yes. Mm. I was waiting for this chance. Me too. Thanks for obliging. Anytime. But I'd love for this to be the last time. Oh yeah? Do you have a plan for arranging that? Or are we just going to fight forever without end? You can't win when your win ratio tips over 50%. It's climbing for sure. Do you win when your win ratio tips over 50%? It's climbing for sure. I can't deny it. You're slipping, getting lazy. I'm just bored. I don't want to win an argument. I w don't want to win a... Don't want to win a fight. I just wish you were dead, okay? Me too. Wow. I can't kill you. And I don't really want to either. Well, same. Man, don't talk like Neith. You know, that pisses me off. Don't say their name, then maybe. Maybe they died. Because they were tired of us having the same fight over and over again forever. Are you kidding? They lived for it. <laughs> Man. What a bitch. I know, right? I really miss them. Me too. Want to fight about it? <sighs> Man. Gee, sure, I get it. Thank God we're not the only dumbasses in this song. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna, who's gonna read this one? I guess it'll be me, Something. because you two are gonna do the com logs. Oh, that's true, yeah. I also play... Yes. Uh, yeah. Europa. Here. Yeah. Europa is a Grambler character. <laughs> Everyone's in Grambler now. Yeah. Where's the crossover? <laughs> Cry games. Yeah. Um, you know what? Fuck space. It's nothing. It's complete garbage. 
The secret no one here wants to admit is that space is boring and empty and desolate and lifeless. There is not it's not romantic and it doesn't care about us. They embellish dull gray photos of dust with beautiful colors to pull our heartstrings, but the reality is there's nothing but different shades of gray of the palest colors. But you know what? That's not even the most embarrassing part. The most embarrassing part is that humans can't do anything better than imagine space as just Earth, but a little different. Filled with people who are like us, but a little different. Hey, well, hey, guess what? That's just Earth, idiots. You're projecting. Why do you need space to think of Earth? Why are you ignoring all the people and places on Earth that are like you, but a little bit different? Why is that dream more important than us? We're supposed to have dreams, but we're not supposed to just live in them. That's why I'm breaking up. I want to go home. Wow. I'm breaking up with you, space. You don't care for me anymore. Dang you, space. <laughs> You've had more than a few fights with that celestial mechanics pilot at this point, haven't you? Yes, fights. Exactly. You've really met your match. In terms of troublesomeness, I think she has me beat. Do you know her? Saturn? A Generation 3 pilot? I was only in charge of combat operations, and the third generation never saw combat, even ex against the existential threat. Of course I knew her, though. She was one of Iapetus's top candidates. He used a variety of methods to artificially jumpstart extreme tidal sensitivity in otherwise unremarkable pilot candidates. I thought none of it worked. <laughs> the first ship cells had manual controls to bridge the gap between your intentions and the energy of the tidal reactor. It's a, co it's a complex language, a conversation between yourself and the machine with advanced mathematics. You, yours, your ha you use your hands, but it's a fundamentally mental approach. Dr. Nix wanted to achieve communication through the soul. Iapetus, however, felt direct inter interface with the body would be most efficient. Teach the body, and the mind and soul would follow. Sounds dangerous. Also made up. <laughs> it's all made up. There's nothing inherently wrong in using the body as a primary medium. However, he inflicted the intentions of the ship cells and the pilots, rather than teaching them to express their intentions outward. He wanted subjects, not actors. It's impossible to read the rhetoric of his methodology any other way. Was Saturn particularly resistant? Is that where she got downgraded from primary candidate? No, she was intensely loyal, like another pair of hands and eyes for Iapetus. It was the opposite. She accepted all those intentions perfectly. She was perfect. You see the problem, don't you? A doll like that doesn't have the will to compete in tidal conflict. Why are you telling me this? He realized in the end he had created someone as boring as he was. It took a long time for you to learn how to be a person after having been forced to be someone else. Don't forget how to be tender to Hellions, Luna Terra. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You you get hints of that, but yeah, in other things, I'm, I'm gonna try not to talk around and just talk about what we see. But yeah, like, <laughs> Saturn used used to be very different and was like a real like true believer in Iapetus. Wow, interesting. But we've sadly never seen Iapetus in this route. Well, maybe next time. Mm. Save that, since we just went through there. Being cautious this time. Okay, so these are the last two missions. I don't get it. Do I get to choose still, or do we have to do them in any order? Yeah, you get a, You get to choose. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and stop like backseat driving and stuff and freaking out. <laughs> we should just let it happen because we can always go back and play this more. Yeah, very it's, true. That's true. You can always do more routes. It'll be nice to have this one done, but um, always mm -hmm. down to play more with you. Okay, yeah. I'm just okay. Yeah. Delay. So give me the. Oh, okay. I wanted to look at the two, like actually read them. I didn't read them out loud. 
or read them at all. Uh, I just said, there's someone has the word moon on it. <laughs> um, I'll click that because I like the song Fly Me to the Moon from Bayonetta. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the original version. It's not as good as the Bayonetta one. The yes, Bayonetta version appeared in Bayonetta, which makes it fundamentally better. Yes. Okay, give me the moon. It's time to move to the future, peacefully or painfully. No factions, no dreams, just two girls lost and entwined in the warm summer of the moon's day. Plastic versus metal. Earth has promised to let the children of space sort themselves out for now, but their machines of war guard the way back home. Just in case, we're Saturn and Luna Terra meet and a chance encounter, the true terror of humanity stares them down. Ooh. Which one do you want to do first? Well, uh, Terra. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose I am playing with. Yeah, so you get All to right. pick. <laughs> All right, responsibility. Uh, if you can't I mean, pick, I, I will. It's just the order of things. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give, give us a moon, I guess. Fly me to okay, the moon. Okay. So I'll handle the narration because this is Lunar Terra and Ma and uh, Pluto. Ah uh, yes, yes. New orders, Lunar Terra. Get out for a while. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> what? Oh, really? You leave me on standby? Yes, but you're making everyone anxious. The pacing and sighing is becoming melodramatic. Even worse, some of the girls are beginning to find it very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen. Show them some Daddy. mercy and give yourself a break, please. <laughs> a, cat, a girl can't even pace around without being blamed for my raw sexual energy. You're just too hot, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I just snapped at one of the deck mechanics. I'm a bit. T I'm getting tired. I know, and it's given her a disgusting crush on you. So please leave before more of my crew become compromised. <laughs> I don't get why that happens. That you don't is less of a saving grace than you might think. It's good that you're not full of yourself, but you have no awareness of your own value. God, I am playing the credit card. Oh, where? It's not a mystery to me why someone would like to earn their approvals and treat them as if they don't deserve it. <laughs> wow. It's an intoxicating feeling. Wow, this is a this, this, never mind. I take it back. This is just for flirt game, I guess. <laughs> so why do they think I wouldn't want that too? I'm just as greedy and childish. It annoys me. I'm not an invincible monster. I think the same things. Oh, grow up! You're no different than any of my other girls. You're the only one who thinks you actually have to be this made-up person. What you think you're going to teach Pluto... To, what? Oh, sorry. What? Comma. You think you're going to teach Pluto not to take off on the burdens of those she cares about when you can't even throw off your own entirely self-inflicted ones? <laughs> <laughs> you know my girls aren't stupid enough to not see what a fool you are alongside your strength. They wouldn't find you so charming otherwise. Didn't you learn anything from your terrible relationship with my tragically pathetic niece? I, uh, I learned to not pretend and give someone what she wanted. <laughs> Wrong. You should have learned that just because someone likes you doesn't mean they don't also know you're an idiot. <laughs> no one needs you to be stronger. You need to let yourself be weaker. Do that quickly so I don't have to hear any more complaints from you or those girls. Aren't you tired of hearing them yourself? Heaven will be mine, more like heaven calls me the fuck out. <laughs> wow. Which, Tracy, which is more of a call out to you when you play this? This or Lady Killer in a Bind? Oh, Lady Killer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're on air. Never mind what I said. Uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, if you want, I can say anything. I'll, I I have no shame. You want me to talk on? <laughs> all right, what are these options? Okay, uh, so yeah, they... this is where the choices get a little bit more abstract. It's really a choice, but just between: do you want to stay with Memorial Foundation or do you want to betray Memorial Foundation? 
Hmm. And you're portraying them again for Cradle's Graces, just so you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is Pluto's faction. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm good for selling them out to go see Pluto's faction. Why not? Well, well, so yeah, just so you understand, right? Like, that's all that changes is like their their bubbles of influence. The actual. Like, at this point, how their stories converge, it's just two different scenes. I don't know, like, <laughs> where we are at stat-wise to be like, oh. Oh, yeah, crud, we could have seen that in the, um, yeah, no, we could have seen that back at the central menu. I think at the moment, uh, because of how we've played it, Memorial Foundation is way behind both Cradle's Graces and, um, <laughs> I think Cradle's Graces and, and, and Memorial about equal, I think, and it's um, uh, celestial mechanics that is way ahead, but it's been ages since we last played. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Um. Can you cover those options again? <laughs> I'm gonna be rude. Make up uh, and forgive, which is loyal, or fight until we love each other, which is betray. I'm just like, hmm. Okay. How does Luna Terra take that pet talk she just got? <laughs> hmm. Does she want to Which get I... with Pluto, or does she want to? Like, I guess both could get her with Pluto. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm favoring the betray option just because that's I, I'm liking the bogusness of that. But that's just purely me. Well, <laughs> well it, let's go with because you can always do the opposite. You can always do the opposite next time. Okay, so I'll, I guess I'll do the narration. Yes. On the far side of the moon, there's still some part of the dead empty created lunar left created lunar left as the terraforming engines sweep in they turn the earth's satellite into a just into another part of the earth until that time comes this place is is free of earth's pull a place that is still perfect for a quiet moment to happen in an empty clearing surrounded by weight and life it's the perfect place for them to fight like ships do the fighting that ships do not the fighting that people do In the naked sunlight and nothing else, Pluto looks so b beautiful, spinning tiny galaxies with Crun Macula the way she was always meant to. Of all the prototypes she piloted over the years, none suited her like this, from the awkward and embarrassing creature she used to be, to the woman who promised the Earth there could be a new type of human. No longer the priceless tool of selfish adults, the pawn of space is dreamers, the princess who can remake her body out of tidal forces and stardust. She's just Pluto. In the naked sunlight and nothing else, even in this worn and wounded ship, Lunaterra shines just like she always has. Even with the hurt she always jazz. One way or another, some day or another, every girl bleeds. And her Merichrysium suffers alongside her. The drip of her wound spins like a red constellation in zero G. She's rusted, but some parts of her will never rust. The two of them have fought so much, so this shouldn't be a fight. With nothing and no one else to think about, there's no reason to fight. In the naked sunlight, for once, don't fight. Instead of fighting like people do, fight like ships do. Fight like plastic toys do. Fight like you don't have a body. Fight like you don't hate your body. Fight your way into a new body. Fight the way we used to, without trying to win. Fight like we did a long time ago, when they were training us to fight. And all we wanted to do was play. Fight like we did when we didn't have any other way of touching each other. When all we had were lasers and light, tides and time, to say what we wanted to say to each other. Warrior lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna go easy. You better not. Since we're not fighting, I really don't want to hold back. Luna Terra knows a thing or two about fighting in space. Luna Terra wrote the book. It's kind of a predictable story. So Luna Terra makes sure her enemies get sunk. You know the trick, don't you? You've seen Luna Terra pull it so many times. Fire something to test the waters. Lead the target until they walk right into the shot. You can play that game forever until they make the first move. 
Don't let them make that move until you know they won't be expecting what you do that next. What you do next can be anything. As long as it's what they're not going to see coming. After you do it, disengage, like passing a secret. You know this one really well. The message in a bottle slipped between the bullets of hard light. She was the person who taught you how to blow a kiss. But Pluto is the one who learned how to make out. <laughs> oh. A ship so big it makes Luna Terra look like a toy, but Pluto is even bigger than that. You have to measure in density, not mass. Then you'll understand. Pluto is the center. Luna Terra revolves around Pluto. Like she always has. Luna Terra is too close when she tries to pull back from Pluto, and too far when she's trying to close in. She's on a leash that extends through space-time, however Pluto wants. Luna Terra's gravity is the tug that makes the tides go in and out. Pluto's gravity is strong enough to turn Luna Terra into a new shape. Luna Terra didn't invent this, but she loves to struggle through it. She loves to see what she can do, how close she can come. And she comes in so fast. Does so well, but goes too far. When Pluto isn't expecting. It's too fast. Way too fast. Pluto's more off guard than Luna Terra expects. Luna Terra's moon of a spear crescents right into Pluto's chest. Luna Terra wants to scream, but she doesn't say anything. It falls deep enough to be scary, and Luna Terra only meant to nick her. What's wrong? We're having so much fun, and you look scared. Why didn't you... Why didn't you block it? I'm... Luna, I'm fine, see? You can't hurt me that easy. You're not that strong. I'll always be alright. Pluto pu plucks Luna Terra off by the forearm. Wow. <laughs> Gently, with two fingers. Like detaching a kitten. Or a bug. Sorry to scare you like that. But you lied. You said you weren't going to hold back. Pluto can seize Luna Terra by both wrists. And she does that. Ooh. And Luna Terra is quite awestruck by how safe and helpless she feels. The gravity pulling at her from Pluto is gentle but firm. Fighting ship to ship is the only time Luna Terra doesn't feel naked, but now she finally feels naked there too. It's not so bad, though. Sometimes you have to let an animal bite you before it can feel safe. That's the thing you said once. See, I'm learning. I've learned so much. I was... <laughs> when I said that, I was talking about Mars. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like her. Are you really okay? I really didn't mean to scare you like that. But Luna T, you're always overestimating how capable you are of hurting me. It's fine. I was the one who was dumb. Thought I could scare you and you're way too smart for it. You did that on purpose though. You really are amazing. Scary, right? Just like you said. You could be like that too, though. There's still stuff you could learn from me. Want to be the one to teach me, then? <laughs> I'd love to. Here, I'm holding you. Can you feel this? I'm trying. <laughs> you don't have to try. It shouldn't feel like you're trying. It. Trying. It's, it's either easy or it's nothing. You know, well, it's hard for me to do. <laughs> oh, sorry. 
You know, it's harder for me to take it easy than try hard. That's why you're so amazing. I'm so lazy. I never want to work for to work ever. <laughs> I'm always looking for the easiest way to do things. That's not true. It is. Why are you so good at everything? I'm not. You are. I'm not. But I can't make you see it, no matter how hard I try. I guess I should give up on making you uh, trying to make you dislike me. <laughs> Sorry, you can't win against me. You really are a sore winner. Now I know how Mars feels. She's right. I'm totally insufferable. I'm glad at least someone knows. <laughs> oh, please. Be sure. I noticed, too. <laughs> Excuse me, of course. But you don't care. Of course I care. I love you. Mm. Can you feel it now? Mm. I really didn't think I would. But I do. Tell me what it feels like. Feels like you're holding me. What's it like when I hold you? I don't know. Am I imagining it? But I can't be. Feels like metal. I didn't think it would, but it also feels tender. Is that like it would be if you held me on Earth? That is why I'm not as strong as you. But I really thought we were never going to get a chance to touch. I don't know how I could stand it. Why are you holding me so tight? I'm feeling smug. Now look who's the one who caught who, well, who's the one who caught now? I guess I lose. You totally lose. Don't tell anyone. Are you kidding? I'm gonna brag about this for the rest of my life. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, so here we go. So Cradle's great, socio mechanics are at 50%. So. Yeah, so they're even now. So we can decide this with the next one. Ooh. All right. Could I make it all 50%? Or does it just like. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much more you'd get from just from being aligned with Memorial Foundation. Mm hmm. In the next one. We'll see. I don't. I don't. It probably does do that because I don't think there's anything that happens when they're both the same. So I don't know, maybe Celestial Mechanics loses some and it becomes Cradle's Graces. Mm. If we pick the next one, I don't know. I've never been in this situation. The Exocentral Thread. Ooh. Oh, there you go, you learned something new even on stream with me. Oh, mm. uh, by the way, hi, um, Graffiti Bandit. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying the stream. Hello. Ooh. All right. I guess I'm not going to be in this next one, so I will read this one too. The existential threat. Origin pilot program training documentation leaked. Memorial Foundation Native Sphere Archives. It was comprised of solid light and arrived in multitudes. They never arrived in the same shape, pattern, or texture twice. They were memorable, but indistinct. They were like and unlike the things we have seen on Earth, and they could not be touched except through gravity. Mm -hmm. We could not determine where they came from, but they were always headed towards Earth. We found what would happen. We feared what would happen if they passed into Earth. Too much to learn their intentions for what their intentions for coming were. And our pilots defeated them without fail, without hesitation, without any resistance, flawlessly, beautifully, obviously. The truth was, has always been the existential threat is much weaker than humans, no matter what we call it. And there was a refusal to name precisely at, at all times the substance and nature of the existential threat. First of all, referring to it as the existential, existential threat, Memorial Foundation international jargon rather than common local cultural names. For the failure of the scout program on Earth, there was a desire for to separate 
the pilots as much as possible from earthly preconceptions. We did, we did this to understand the new way in which our pilot could be found. But we did this also to understand how com uh, confident are the existential threat. Fighting with their new humanity, existential threat, always weaker than us. But we, but they have ways that we do not, and they always, and they're always fighting in the corner of the world, looking to overcome us in other ways. In the case of the existential threat, as it existed in th in space, we created a weapon, the Kron Macula, beautiful enough to defeat them in once and for all, single-handedly, and we did so. We lost every reason to be in space, and we ended all the mystery and possibility. So it is surprising that in filling the void, it becomes became the pilots who take the role as the existential threat, as as is known to occur on rare occasions on Earth. Wow. Save game. Save. We got like com logs there as well. All right. Yeah. yeah we do have com legs. Yeah, I'm just making a save before I make a decision. <clears throat> okay. Did you notice, Luna Terra? Our base is not far from the Sea of Crises, where your ship <laughs> self was. Yeah. It is that, right? I'm not misreading? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. It is that. It's just a funny name. <laughs> where your ship self was made and, your first... and you first sorted. It's nostalgic, isn't it? <laughs> it is, isn't it? <clears throat> Reminds me of when we were fighting some theoretical alien existential threat and not each other. Would you prefer those days? I definitely, I don't think so. No, I definitely wouldn't. I like think being less stupid. Finding people is better than not even thinking about people at all instead of fantasies. Aren't you going to say that's still your problem? I know when I drilled you like little soldiers, I taught you the opposite too well. But I wouldn't mind if you had second thoughts. Europa, do you feel guilty? We should all feel guilty, but me and my peers especially. We called this conflict to be played out, and we've failed to teach you well enough to endure it. The future we had hoped you would live in was much too childish for you. I know. I'm not upset about that. I would never have come back here by your side again. I don't want your guilt. Or my guilt. What do you need, Lunaterra? I would like you to give me your orders. Without guilt or regret or expectation. Of course. Though I've raised you terribly, Lunaterra, I've always been quite proud of you. She's always been so good, it's scary. I can't deal with good kids. That was Nix's job. <laughs> True. <clears throat> Bounty here a reason to trust me. Or are you going to grant me? You're my student, Lunaterra. I don't have to trust you. Trusting you is not my concern. I can't keep you out of trouble anymore, or even tell you what to do. I can only advise my last remaining student whether you listen to me or not, to that girl or not, whether you fulfill your duty to Memorial Foundation or betray us once more. Hmm. I've been looking at the, been looking at the data, the alignment log. <laughs> what are you talking about? Alive log, isn't it? Getting too permissive in your old age. I've always been permissive, and I've always been old. <laughs> <laughs> I was born this age. I was born old and kinky, baby. <laughs> Ugh, kids are disgusting. I'm glad I never was one. <laughs> but you said I was in charge. I will advise you no matter what decision you make, Lunaterra. And not quietly. And that should, then what's your advice since I'm just going to do it? Pardon me. <clears throat> Don't get out of dealing with your ex by indulging your death wish. Oh, calling out Lunaterra. <laughs> She's not my ex. Were you not together, or is it not over? My advice is to not leave things ambiguous this time. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> all right so i'm gonna go ahead and make a save here mm -hmm. it's all the great just all the great lunatera call it this stream <laughs> yeah, so i'm making a save there so that we can uh go back and do the other one later yeah or let's see i know that you feel like you the smartest way to end a conversation is to just die first. But how about you go talk to your ex girlfriend? <laughs> my ex. It seems like time to talk about your girlfriend then. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Jam. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. The art is nice. Yeah, it is. Yes, the art is very pretty. If I you love the art, work if you go. Game. For just a dollar, you can go to the artist's Patreon, and they have a lot of really fun uh, art from when they were developing this with all the characters. Yeah. There's, there's an adorable one, I think it's on her Twitter as well, but it was definitely on her Patreon, which is just the artist sitting bolt upright in bed, and it says, saying, Luna Terror is so cute, and I can just draw anything, and it's canon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of having OCs, baby. Mm -hmm. The fleets are already in motion. Are you ready? No problem. Only worried about that trickster from Celestial Mechanics. No end of trouble. You don't sound too unhappy about that. I suppose the trouble will end soon, one way or another. It's simply recon this time, but it's on the near side of the moon. And Earth military is there, with autonomous devices. They are in very high orbit, but they will descend rapidly if they notice gravitational variability. The ship self is a shape intended for means to, to exist in space. Outside of the Earth's pool, it isn't intended for war. Oh, I've got that mixed up again, sorry. The military is here with that most direct of intentions, so don't let them achieve it. Fine at the planetary sphere doesn't seem to think we're on the same side. There is nothing funny about it. We're not on the same side. We are complicating the problem. We can't let it go as much as Cradle Graces or Celestial Mechanics can't. Earth has graciously allowed us to get considerable leeway in dealing with the closing of the space program on our terms. Broken and naive as they find us, Memorial Foundation International begged them to not let us, to let us try bringing the wayward children back home bloodlessly. So we should be thankful that they are just watching and not descending to rout us. Most of Earth would find any loss of human life to space unacceptable, but less and less of Earth considers us fully human. So the mission... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> so the mission is just protecting any stragglers from getting themselves killed by the forces trying to get... trying to save them from. You don't think we can trust them. If I trusted them to handle it, I would not have led you, the children of space, to fight this conflict. Do you think we can do it? Bring everyone back to Earth? There's a reason I am not having you interfere with the opening of the gravity well. Everyone will be in one place, at least. What Celestial Mechanics and Crazes, Cradle's Graces hope will be their salvation could be ours too. We're on a tight deadline for something that might be impossible. Win what's in front of you and worry about that later. So, yes, are we going to remain loyal to um, Memorial Foundation, or are we just going to go, ah, full, it, full on Celestial Mechanics ending? Um, I mean, I'm not that loyal to Celestial Mechanics or anything. What, what, what do you think, Alexis? Well, I mean, I don't like the government, but... Um... Well, I think that last conversation did show that they're not really the government yeah they're like civil servants who like I can't do this we've got to figure out a way and have sort of like created their own thing they're like of the people in space they're the people who will talk to the government and say hey please don't kill everyone we'll promise we'll bring everyone back home 
Yeah. No, I'm is, not saying the that Memorial Foundation in space is the government, but I'm saying going to Earth, you will then live under the state. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But um I don't know. I don't know. I I, I don't know. We're at like thirty seven percent. I'm curious what happens if we pick Memorial Foundation in terms of like percentage um you know, gain and all that. Um, Would a terror man just apparently pull every every strand of fate together into a free way draw? Ah, okay. No, I can't I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything into everything. I mean there, there I is no I there you've is said no, it before that there's no there, like there, everyone together ending. Yeah, there is no ending like that. If you if we do get fifty fifty all round, which I'm still not sure this will do, you you just instead get um, everyone gets together and goes. Someone's got to win. Let's pick, and so you get to pick your ending. <laughs> okay. Well, then I want to get us fifty fifty so we can pick an ending. <laughs> um, then the closest thing to do that would be stay loyal. But I I really don't know if we've done enough. Yeah, I don't know. Um. I don't know, I've never played this game before in my life. Uh. Well, what would you want to do, Luna Terra? Do you want to try to get everyone home peacefully? That way your girlfriend doesn't potentially die from the government? Or yeah, do you want to risk I dying want... to protect your girlfriend from potentially dying in, from the government? Don't forget her other girlfriend. Yeah. Your girlfriend's plural. Yeah. Thing. I guess we shouldn't try and fight the government today. Okay, let's see what happens when we Memorial Foundation advance. We have a save to do, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is Saturn, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so you can narrate that like this. Ah, the winter on the near side of the moon, which means... It's winter on the near side of the moon, which means... It will be a half a month before the hem- this hemisphere sees day again. The frosted forest will see spring in a week, summer the week after, and fall the week after that. Wow. A year of seasons and a month, a month long day, even terraformed. Could humans live like that? On the near side, though, at least the earth will always be like the sky. Ex- ex- externally, internally huge, shining with authority and kindness, unlike its agents who hang in the corner of the sky, like a. M- m- Mentre? Migraine aura. <laughs> There's nothing ex. <laughs> he about his shape. It is here that just two things look, then kill. When Saturn flew a, m- a millimeter too high, and the autonomous military unit looked, then killed, but just too slow, and Lunaterra pushed her away and drag them into the deep in the forest winter. The unit looks twice as hard. It's been encouraged to not miss twice. Shh, don't make a sound. Being too noisy. I get that a lot, but this time we're not making any noise. So don't tell me to be quiet. You're the one flittering all over about the place. You're listening for gravity. Vibrations are not the kind of noise they care about. So keep moving and don't make noise in your heart. Don't make a sound if it. Don't make a sound in all possible senses. Don't make a sound physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Calm down. You don't like it if you're not calm. First of all, that makes no sense. Secondly, I refuse. <laughs> I think you should die. So think of something else to do instead because they can kill you. Unlike me, you're on a ship self. So think about that as little as you can, okay? Keep your Tyler reactor's output to minimum. If it helps to make yourself look like an object, you'll be a thing that other... It, you'll be a thing that other things happen to rather than an agent. That's what it's looking for, agency. So it can s- make it cease immediately. I don't like that. <laughs> You know, I'm absolutely super good at that. I have a lot of experience with it. So I'm absolutely not going to. <laughs> huh. Well, me too. That's why I suggested it. But you're right. I shouldn't have suggested it like that. How about this instead? 
Start with thinking about Earth. <laughs> the autonomous device becomes visible instantaneously. It doesn't look like a ship self. It bears no resemblance to the human shape because there is no intention for its design to accommodate humans. That is the opposite of what it does. It, is, it has nothing to express, only a function to perform. What did I do? Probably thought too hard about Earth, but shh, all the same. It's so creepy. That's supposed to represent Earth? It doesn't even look like humans made it. Really? I think it's rather appropriate it doesn't look human at all. You can take an artificial grout reactor. We don't really know what you can do to lock a target and kill it. So I really can't verify what it is with it if it won't do anything. It feels so heavy suddenly. What is this? I'm telling you that's the error. No gravity. It's very, very heavy. You feel its authority? That's a gulf between us and a planet. I know that. I guess it feels really different to feel it in person. You were saying a way to avoid it? Do you remember being a normal kid even for a little bit? Or do you remember the last time you had to convincingly like one? Obviously, I was a really good kid, you know. <laughs> it's checking your gravity against the script, and it thinks, sorry, it doesn't think, it just checks your bearings. Aren't I pretty excessively varied by now? Just wait there a second, it's hard to teach on the spot. It's not that I don't know the idea. Ugh. How are you so good at it? It's not that it, it sounds like you kinda hate that I am. <laughs> I promised I wouldn't die, but I'm mad I have to do this. <laughs> Lunaterra crawls slowly through the frostbitten green crater to where Saturn is curled among the cold desert desert ju <laughs> desert ju juniper junipers the dark and barely perceivable dot monitors them in the pale earth light so precisely waiting it's easier to hide in the ship cells if their ship shells are turned off or as close to that as a ship shelf can be so they climb outside, into the cold lunar winter to wait. I'm here. Are you doing okay? No, obviously I'm scared. Me too. So forget what I said. I hate doing that too. You are warm playing there? You're not warm at all, but at least your boobs are soft. <laughs> the autonomous unit doesn't like flirting, huh? Flushing detectors. You should try instead thinking of how you're keeping a secret, keeping it real close, waiting for the perfect moment and no one else can know. Okay, I can do that. That's not as bad. Is it that big a difference? There's an infinite difference between someday and never. I'd extremely forgotten how to be patient, but I know the difference. You're right. It really is important to never forget. It's still not going away. Yeah, it's a lot more patient than us, huh? It's looking at you, too. Aren't you on their side? Just because we want Earth back doesn't mean Earth wants us back. So Memorial Foundation really is that stupid? Maybe. In their eyes, we're as bad as you. So, why go back? But... Uh, because fuck them. They don't want anything to do with us. The moral foundation thinks it's optimal for humanity to return, but I think many humans think it would be fine if we died. That just makes me want to come back to Earth even more. Ha! <laughs> Spite, I can understand. <laughs> I can be paid too. I want back, even if only for spite. It will bring them back a little taste of what it's like to be us. They're afraid of what we might bring something back with us. And they should be, much more than they already are. That's what I want. 
knowing that you're just as petulant and petty as me. And this week, and this week too, makes me reconsider you. In a good way. It's wonderful. It makes me want to fall in love. Oh, uh, huh. I said maybe. Don't get full of yourself. Sorry. There's no way we're getting any more than half of what we want, at best. You're only hoping for half of what you want, so I wonder if you can even get that, if you get it. I don't expect things to go my way, you know. If you're coming along, wherever it is. Truer than you know, LT. Whichever way we go, we're going together. In this cosmic glow, we're going wherever we're going together. I love you. Get used to me now. You may go upside down on purpose again. <laughs> You're so good at evasion, but scoring a direct hit is so easy. You win. I'll be nice. It'll be nice to the end of the world, but this one alongside... Of every world alongside you. See, the machine's already bored. Are not bored, but uncomprehending, and then it lost interest. But I'll stay here with you until at least for good. Because flight or fight, petty bitch to petty bitch, lab rat to upperclassman, brat. brat. <laughs> 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 what, really? Maybe. Sorry. Do you maybe love me too? <laughs> Day nine. Oh, yo, we got the we got the 50 50. <laughs> Yeah. I told you we could do it. Great era, the most indecisive person in the cosmos. <laughs> on the plus side, this means we can go back and decide and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Everything hangs in balance. Can I make a save here? You can't save here. Uh, sure I can? Oh, you can, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll make a new save. But don't, don't, don't over-save that one, because yeah. that one... That's what I'm saying, new save if here. We... Yeah. If we do Cradle's Graces again, we might want to go back and do that mm -hmm. other one on the moon, because that, that, the other Saturn one is really cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I imagine. I, I'm super excited to see that one. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Everything hangs in balance. Oh, it's not that bad. Yeah, let's flip a coin or something. Don't you think it's still kind of an important decision? It's not the fate of everything, but it's the fate of a lot of things. It's the future of human beings in space. It's not what I wanted. None of these things are what I wanted. What are you fighting for, then? I mean, it's not everything I wanted. I was fighting for everything I wanted, and this is as close to it as I got. That's not enough. Well, I mean, it could be better. <laughs> I love you both so much. We're complete rats that can't be pleased. Don't tell me you're fine with it. No way, you're right. It could be much better. <laughs> See? So I'm fine with whichever ending we get. I want a better ending too. Wanting a better end doesn't mean I'm fine with whatever. Why not? Yeah, what do you want? Mm. I want... what we want. <laughs> Us too. That's why it's fine either way. Lunaterra, I think you haven't understood... I think you haven't understood something. This isn't the ending. We don't need one ending. No matter how the future turns out, no matter who wins, we can take whatever ending we get and make the ending we really want out of it. It's not like it doesn't matter. But no matter what future we get, can't we make it the one we wanted? Just like we did before the ending. Okay, sure. Let's pick our favorite. We don't need a true ending. Whatever it is, we'll make it a true ending. Aww. Okay. 
So, well, we want to watch the Celestial Mechanics f fighting fighting the government later, so maybe we're not going to pick them. I can eliminate yeah. that one, so it's between Kratos Creations and Memorial Foundation. Um, it... What, what do you think, Ashley? Um... Okay, so... I think they're both great and everything. Um, the the fundamental ending is generally the same for all three characters mm -hmm. when you get to this point, but every character does have a bit at the end where they sum everything up from their perspective. Mm -hmm. So if you pick the Cradle's Graces ending, right, you don't get you get mostly the same ending that Saturn or Pluto gets, but in this case we also get Lunaterra's like little summing up of what it is and why she decided to go for Cradle's Graces at the end. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the one unique thing. So it is still worth going back and playing as the other characters. The only downside is that Cradle's Graces does focus mostly, like everyone turns up and stuff, but Cradle's Graces is kind of, the one weakness is that everyone's ending is from the point of the character that's involved. Uh -huh. So, Cradle's Grace's ending will be mostly about Pluto. Lunatara uh -huh. and Saturn turn up, and they're really important, but, like, Pluto's, like, in the centre. A Memorial Foundation, it's the other way around. Okay. It's, it's like, it's... Lunatara's there. Also, Memorial Foundation ending, we do get to meet, um... Oh... Uh, 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 Hill... Halimed. So we get uh -huh. to meet one of Lunatara's other exes, and Halimed only appears in the Memorial Foundation ending. Okay. She does um, like do chat and everything. But we could we what, can easily read all of these from Lunaterra's perspective tonight. Yeah. Um I I I guess doing Memorial Foundation works as like a first setting to check it. It's just like Lunaterra's route ish. Well, actually Lunaterra has a special uh achievement in the Steam version of the game where <laughs> if you pick someone else's if you get someone else's ending, you get like a special <laughs> Uh, achievement, which is I've never betrayed anyone in my life. <laughs> <laughs> We're not playing on the same version, but that's amazing. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm there for Memorial Foundation, what are you thinking? You know, we're, they're, they're planning it as a polycule, let's plan it as a <laughs> Yes. I, I, I suppose I will accept Memorial Foundation. Um... Uh... No, this is the thing. I really don't want to, because I've played this a lot. I don't want to like backseat game or anything. I do think you two should just pick. You love any all of them the endings. Great. Yeah, no, I do love all the endings. Because I, like... I would find your opinion on bias. If, yeah, if I think Pluto. What do you think is best for the stream? I, I shouldn't think of them as Pluto. In the videos, I do think the Cradle's Grace's ending is nice and it's really hopeful hmm. and everything. Um, and I think it's the most hopeful ending and it's the one that's most open to uh, to like post stuff. Alright, I guess yeah. that's good for like a first. That's good. Yeah. yeah, okay, we'll Memorial... go on Cradle's Graces then, and right. we'll see. Then we'll... then we'll see what we'll do, yeah. Because, I don't know, it feels right to betray someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what, that's that's what Lua said. It's like, well, I, gotta, I can't not betray someone. This is a bit obvious, though. So, yeah. <clears throat> so who's going to be Halami? You want things long distance? You want to break up? You want to fight? A messy fight? And then get back together? You can't have it both ways. How selfish can you be? Humanity breaks up or humanity gets together. Which is it? You want to still be friends? It's never going to happen. You want us to be different and together? No. There's some lines you don't cross. Change too much and you won't be human. Change too much and we won't understand each other or recognize each other. We don't have hearts strong enough. Luna... You know I wish we did, but I know they don't. If you come crawling back, they'll accept you. If you leave, they will let you. But they will kill they'll kill you if you try to change them. Thanks, babe, but I'm still an idiot. <laughs> hmm. You want to read the narration? Uh, it's, I, yeah, I, I yeah, you can read the narration because it's technically uh, like Cradle's Graces, so I'll probably be doing more voice acting. The Cradle's Graces fleet is small and weak, and they're desperate. With the dream of space dying, there's no time left, no chances left. The decision has already been made. 
Humans don't need space. It's one thing to go home, another to leave forever. Both of these are just up to those of us in space. Both of those are just... <clears throat> Neither of those require the strength to pull humanity from its cradle. That's a strength that no one has, and no one should even pretend they have the strength for it. With all of Cradle's Grace's dream, hopes and dreams, Pluto will still try. The pilots blow out as the conclusion of the conflict becomes evident. Now it is truly a war, because the autonomous military units have been arrayed against her for her transgression. This is no longer a fight between the humans of space, but a war with the Earth. The autonomous units ready their weapons, and in unison they fire to kill. As if... The trajectories bend away from Pluto, blushing at the sight of her. They refuse to meet her gaze, as expected. The Krun macula will convert the gravity well directly into the space and time and culture necessary for the future, and they will steal that future from her piece by piece. This is unexpected, but not unprepared for, so wave two. Wave three. Wave four. Wave 10. Wave 36. Wave 150. Wave 460. Wow. Wave 1000. Wave 4569. They know she's not invincible. They know her real truth that no one who loves her can see. They have the patience and power to take it apart piece by piece. See what I mean, right? So I say it focuses almost entirely on Pluto. Mm -hmm. They will strip her down atom by atom if they have to, until she loses mass and gravity and becomes only a girl again. Pluto wouldn't mind if they were trying to kill her, but they have a much more important thing to kill. Cradle's Grace's future. The future of humanity as we know it depends on it. For that, they'll annihilate hers without hate, with only human efficiency and uncomplicated thoughts in mind. Join us or leave us. Only through an autonomous proxy can the Earth give up on the inexhaustible empathy of the human soul. Only through a proxy can Earth divorce itself from the longing that Memorial Foundation had fought on behalf of to, to value their own life above all else. They will do anything, everything, to protect themselves from death, especially at their own hands, for ship selves can only change others and never kill. But that is the fear of Earth above all else. The flawed, pathetic conscience of humanity, playing catch-up to its own mistakes, doing more harm than good. So heavy, even Pluto can't bear it. How can she not respond to their pathetic, self-deceptive, self-destructive feelings? How can she say no when they need her so much? She can't. Acceleration tearing through space-time, crashing through the autonomous units at impossible speeds. Solid light, white and gold, bent and bleeding lance. Luna Terra understands. Over many years. After much training and teaching. With dynamic technology, how to speak the word no. <laughs> and her spear can write it. And it does. Sorry. You really should be. You really don't have any mercy. You really need to learn how to, to hold other people's feelings. I'm sorry for not knowing a better way to do it. But I'm not sorry for doing it. I don't care how they feel, I just care about you. The autonomous units fall into disarray. They don't know how to match her speed. Luna Terra rejects their attempts to comprehend her. You're the worst. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? I don't even want to do that. Sorry, I did what I wanted to. You do the same for me. Even if my foolish nature. If they can pull her on her... Empathy. If they can pull on her empathy for Earth, they can also tug her desire to be free. And Celestial Mechanics has so many ways. This one is called Eversion Impulse. Iapetus despises fighting. He never wanted to develop the ship selves. 
He would prefer simpler and less vulgar solutions that didn't require bodies at all of any kind. He's the first betrayer of Celestial Mechanic's dream for a new kind of body. But he understood it, because everyone can understand the dream, the dream to leave these bodies. And that was the name he gave to the instinct that drives humans to abandon what is for what could be. The inside-out impulse. <laughs> There's still time for his masterwork. Pluto can be that linchpin if she's pushed far enough and the gravity well's forged child radius expands to the point which she cannot escape. Past the limit at which humans can no longer exchange information. Past the limit by which it becomes impossible to regard each other as human. Iapetus loves win-win scenarios. Humanity's disregarded children will be free of their obligations to be human. Humanity will have a physical, unified enemy to chase through their pursuit of space. And Iapetus will have sown the seeds of a single, binding, unified culture theory. A white void that will bend the universe to a single set of physical laws. A simple process of autonomous drones injecting degenerate mass into the gravity well is all that is necessary, as long as Iapetus holds Plut Pluto off personally in his Ron Terra. He even has a plan for Saturn, should she choose just this moment to betray him. <laughs> a perfect plan. Like deactivating my access permissions remotely through a back door? Overwhelming me with mass production string of pearls series? Inverting my gravity reactor through the Roncrevu Ronc Terra's albedo separation system? Oh, and even more plans than that? You're really so predictable. <laughs> of course you'd have a solution for every contingency. Oh, back door switch that band. You're so stupid, I don't have to outsmart every single one of your genius ideas. Sorte orders are fielded for String of Pearls series 01 to 13. Ron Crevu Terra is designated as their primary target. <laughs> Just one of them should be more than enough, but I really thought you deserved their full attention. <laughs> hey Pluto, unlike LT, I'm not even the slightest bit sorry, and I'm super young so I never watched End of Eva so I don't get the reference. <laughs> It's extremely dumb to fight for a stupid future all by yourself. So thank me from the bottom of your heart for coming to believe in it with you. Praise me for obeying what you never asked me to do. Love me for believing in you. Of course. I really, really do. All my love and thanks and praises for you. I won't even pretend to be mad at you. No, like Luna Terra then? <laughs> I'm still connected. We know. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> Back to the topic at hand. It's the final battle, Luna Terra. There's no room to retreat. Oh no, so bad for her. We really should. You think the end of the world is enough of an excuse to change the subject? It should be. <laughs> it won't be the end of the world. The gravity well is open, but it's not sustainable for long. Whatever you're planning to do, you need to do it soon. You're both so precious to me. And you should know that even together, you cannot stop me. Hey, don't just dot, dot, fucking dot. I thought you were going to convince her. <laughs> <laughs> does, she say, does she say dot, dot, dot out loud? <laughs> I'm sorry, to... I've been missing her lines this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what just like what they colloquially decided her groans are? Ah, oh, she's dot, dot, dotting again. <laughs> I have Luna to do is a grown-up girl. She just goes, oh, parenthesis. <laughs> <laughs> Semicolon. Dot. I have to do this. Because I believe in it, too. But Dr. Nix ha was willing to sacrifice the Earth. I am not. No matter what it costs. 
cradle's grace is never wanted in the panther space. Wanted all humans to embrace it. The solution is to destabilize Earth's gravitational field until human life is no longer possible there and forces adapt into space. Saving humanity against their will, maybe, and destroying yourself in the process. No way! Nyx doesn't know what she's talking about. You're throwing yourself away on a dream that won't come true. And you are chiding me for not going in on my own future. The possibility lines have closed. There was no chance for a good future since before we started. It's too sad. That's why I start. I have to stand with Doctor Nix's dream. Humans deserve some kind of real hope, and this is as close it, to it as I can offer. Well, how bad will you be at us if we stop you? I'd never be mad at you, even if I could. But for humans to be caught halfway between space and the Earth is the worst. Is worst. Worst of all the bad futures. It will split us in half, and that will mean war. It's the future of eternal war. Of true war, not this, with zero G, keeping our bodies immortal and unrestricted. I mean, if we really did declare independence from Earth, wouldn't they see how cool we are and come up anyway? It's their choice, you know. We can't make it for them. That's their problem. You two really put up a fight. For a moment, I almost believed you. I really thought you might be able to stop me. Mayor Chrissium's spine is broken. The string of pearls is subdivided into so many components, its reassembly time is weeks out. Man, that's harsh, and also a harsh difference. Wow. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I just like break like the the main frame of, of, of Lunaterra's one, but oh shit, string of pearls, better cut it up into little bits until it stops moving. <laughs> wow. Can't blame us for trying. I wouldn't have been able to do anything else. I really hate this. It's time to... The interfacer is... broken? Thank god, I thought you missed. You didn't make that shot easy. I can't control lunar gravity event anymore. I don't know what's going to happen. What, what can I do? Sorry, we didn't think that far ahead. We just wanted you to decide. Not Dr. Nex. Even if you can't have everything, what is the thing that you really want? I don't know what kind of future we're going to get. I'm not working with much. Everything you do is fine if it's you. Don't listen to her, just figure something that doesn't suck. The three compress, redivide, expand. The simple childish thought grasps Pluto, bubbles up within her, and she says it before she can stop herself. I think this is Pluto. I want us to be together forever. In, be in our beautiful shapes, in space, free, with everyone. Of course, it isn't possible. Not enough people will believe in it. Earth is the primary body of this system, and the medium point between our gravity and its gravity is still deep within the Earth. Yet they cannot pull us down anymore. That will never happen. We are still in space, and the future is uncertain, even if we can sustain it, but... I declare war on Earth. Come get us again. Come find us again. I dare you, I challenge you to prove it once again. I w what foolishness. Humanity will happily oblige, yet they find that their autonomous troops are crushed before they can reach us. Humanity will have to fight us again, on our terms this time. Fight us like children fight, again, with bodies of plastic, pretend. If you want to fight us, you'll have to be like us. I meant it when I said I wish Pluto was right. But I also meant it when I thought otherwise. We won't want the perfect future. Happiness for all and no one left behind. But there is a secret. We don't need a true ending. We can make a true ending of any ending. 
We can make it without the true end. We can make it at the best ending, or the second best ending, or a bad ending. Some of these might be bad endings, but we're gonna keep going. Before the time... Before the part where there's an ending. Until it's something else. There might still be more to do. Let's bet against that. I'm tired. The cat is off guard. So stay in your ship, self. You won't just laze around in your ship. Why not? Does it feel as nice? It's different, but it's better. You can't feel anything. You've still got a lot to learn, Ace. Maybe I do. Let Pluto teach you. I'm taking a nap. Nah, you're helping. I'm tired. Shut up. <laughs> so she says, but when she stretches out on the yellow-red carpet of Venus's jungles, she doesn't just go instantly to sleep. There's room for both of them on Pluto's lap, which is an advantage of living in your ship self. You can do things that you normally couldn't, even if other things are harder. Harder doesn't mean impossible. It just means you have to work for it, to figure out how to make it real. Learning a new language that your new body speaks. Moments like these are rare, since we began a war against Earth. Although we're quick to remind each other it's not really a war, the way that war used to be. Not the hard crash of steel and lead, but the pre pliant pressure of plastic and light. Venus's heat melts their metal before they can make it here, when Earth wants to fight, they have to send softer bodies after us. <laughs> the punishment we deserved being unable to reconcile is this half-real solar system. The forests are still struggling on Mars, but we're trying hard, and the jungles of Venus are growing so nicely, except they're too wild to give us room, and the silicate mosses that grow along the rings of Saturn allow for a very fragile, delicate sort of life. We love these places anyway. They're becoming more and more like home. All we need are more of us. And they come, descending in waves, trying to take us back. We beat them back every time, and sometimes one or two look around and decide, I'd rather stay here. And then there's more of us. Sometimes they succeed and take one of us back home. But that's just as fine with us. We should go where we wish, live as we wish. And if our sisters get taken home, they bring a small part of us back to the Earth. That can't go unchanged. Like Pluto always said, this future no one wanted is the only future that leads somewhere, a future she couldn't hold, and still can't hold, but she doesn't need to. <clears throat> we are holding it in with her, we are holding it together, all together we can hold this future. Earth isn't ready to accept us, and we're not ready to forgive Earth, that's okay, we don't have to be, let's just fight about it. Let's fuck over it. Let's break up and get back together and over it. If we lose, we lose on the terms we set and that proves our point, so haha, we win. If you hate that logic and think it's stupid, come over here and mess me up about it. <laughs> come over here and make out with me about it. <laughs> oh, I forgot there was so little dialogue for the end bit for there. I'd oh. like to hear what Pluto says about the whole thing when they're all sitting on her lap. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, I really liked it. Um... I really like that. I ending. love all the... hmm. Yeah. That I do end. like that one because it's sort of basically like, yeah, it's a bit tougher to live and fight in space, but, you know, it all. We still get to live and do all the fun things in space. Yeah, it's cool as hell. It feels like the kind of ending I would pick. I don't know what the other end two endings are, but it sounds closer you to what just... I would do in that situation, which I guess is fitting since I am playing Pluto. Yeah, Pluto, I do think, has the most uplifting ending. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well then, we've each stand and Pepper will be mine. Yes. Oh, yeah. I had oh. a good time with that. I had a very good time with that. Thank you so much for getting me that game, Ashley. Yeah. Good time. It, 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 it's really good, and I really enjoyed it. Um, maybe we'll do more of this in the future. Or maybe we'll play like We Know the Devil or some other thing. Which also has three protagonists in it. Whoa. Yes. Or we'll play some dating sim. So something lighter than we know the devil. 
<laughs> oh yeah, fair point, I guess. Um, I depending. <laughs> maybe we'll just play, like, I'll just grab some visual novels from my, uh, for, for maybe you can come on a queer games collection or something, and we can just, like, play just a random dating sim. If I could find a nice mm-hmm. polyamorous dating sim, that's what I want. Like, I just want to do yeah. one that's, like, three girls chilling in a hot tub, no feet <laughs> apart because they are gay. <laughs> Yeah, send us your polyamorous uh, lesbian video game recommendations, please. We're dying for them. We can't be out here making all the polyamorous games. We need yeah. to play them as well for inspiration. It's what it's what, it's what we need to live. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely things in my brain. I need to do better about polyamorous stuff. But um, there's an indication of that in the latest chapter of Love Beyond the Holy Light, which you can go read at patreon.com backslash Alexis Sarah. Um, where you get all the latest updates from Alexis Sarah, Eisner Award winning writer. That's right. I won an <laughs> award. I didn't say that on the stream yet. Um, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can check that out. Um, and if you like me and my mouth brain or think I'm just really hot and want to see my selfies, you can go to twitter.com. And you can go to at transcomic on twitter.com and it's like totally free to look at me there. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? How are you getting such a good deal? Mm. But you know, you could give me money, especially if you enjoy the pictures a little too much. Like, come on, pay me back. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you can find Tracy at patreon.com backslash Tracy Campbell. Um, yes. Yeah, and I'm um, I'm Minx Tracy on Twitter. Um, I, I'm I'm working on stuff. I'm trying to get back into editing podcasts and stuff. It's been a it's been a wild summer, but things are settling down now. I'm trying to get back in the routine of putting my regular work up there. And look at this, we finished a game on stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, so yeah, patreon.com for Tracy Campbell for me and Minx Tracy for my Twitter. Follow me there. Um, I got to put up a new post on my Twitter, so just whenever I'm looking at my work you can find me there or the Girlfriend Quest or, or down below yes um, yes so, yeah. at Girlfriend Quest if you want to see everything that we do and um, uh, we're going to try to be better about like retweeting all the work and stuff we put out um, on that account um, mm-hmm. but you again you can check our individual ones where we'll tweet it but I, I definitely like it as a place to archive it and thank you so much Erica for tuning in oh yeah Indeed. Thanks. yeah thanks everyone yay and Thanks our special for guest. Turning up, Erica. Would you like to plug yourself? Hey. Certainly. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Louise, and I've got uh, two podcasts. I've just dropped a recent uh, podcast on my own personal one called Simply the Best, where I talk about all the things that are the best. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got uh, just spoken to both Tracy here about Aoi Shiro, and I also have a new one of me talking to Anna Valens about her game Blood Packs. And I'm currently editing a podcast on Heaven Will Be Mine, but it's very long. <laughs> uh, we should. I also uh, recorded today. I uh, recorded uh, the one that I, uh, podcast I do with my friend Hugh uh, called the LHC, which you can get on thelhc.com. Uh, and we were talking about Fire Emblem, so look forward to that soon. And you can uh, see everything I generally am interested in uh, on Twitter at Yo Smith. Yes, um, and uh, I really enjoy um, Ashley's podcast. Um, the Louise Hugh uh, Collision is really good. LHC, um, like it's very interesting, and it's nice like they have like some different perspectives, and it's really interesting how they talk about things. And I guessed it on an episode once, uh, <laughs> twice, is it twice? Yeah, um, twice. Yeah, you twice. Did two, I did two. two I did two. Um, and I got to do simply the best with you, uh, but we can talk yeah, about that we off need stream. To do... Yeah, um, we can talk about it off stream. But yeah, we have ideas for things to do simply the best stuff with you. Yeah, and. Um, uh, Simply the Best is really good. Both episodes that are up have been fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I've been really enjoying those podcasts. And Ashley is a super amazing, super nice person. Um, oh, just one of the sweetest people I know. So go ahead and support her in any way you can. Um, and that would be fantastic. <laughs> you know, just, like, 
retweet the thing and give podcast and say like what you felt honestly about it and it'll probably be positive because she's yeah. really good like that's what we really want more than anything else is just people to give us praise you know <laughs> that gets the word for it. <laughs> i'm just saying like it and there's not there's not a lot of feedback well uh, an easy ex- way to do that is cheer for cheer with these bits on twitch that you now have the ability to do now that you're a twitch uh, affiliate Yes, so you can give us little twitchies or subscribe, too. That's another way to support us. So that money goes directly to help support Tracy. Um, anything you give on Twitch. So if you want to help Tracy um, have a really dope life, uh, please do. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. yeah, so thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Bye.